Some of you might have seen that the top Palestinian negotiator, Saeed Barakat, recently had some advice for me. <laughs> he told me to shut up. <laughs> Mr. Barakat, I will always be respectful, but I will never shut up. <laughs> Long before I got to the UN, I knew a few things that have served me well in this last year. One of those principles is that standing up for your friends is critical. Just about a month before I arrived, the United States allowed Resolution 2334 to pass. It was a shameful day for America. On my first day, I assured the Israeli ambassador that on my watch, that would never happen again. And I'm proud to say it has not happened again. In the real world, Israel is a strong country with a vibrant economy and a first-class military. On the battlefield, Israel does not get bullied. The Iranians and Syrians can vouch for that. There's one more principle I knew before I arrived at the UN. Like most Americans, I knew what the capital of Israel was. To be more clear, I knew that Jerusalem was, is, and will always be the capital of Israel. This is not something that was, I love you too. America did not make Jerusalem Israel's capital. What President Trump did, to his great credit, was recognize a reality that American presidents had denied for too long. Sometime in the future, the day will come when the whole world recognizes that fact. I hope to be there and join our great ambassador, David Friedman. on the day when we open our brand new American Embassy in Jerusalem. God bless Guatemala. They even joined us in moving their embassy to Jerusalem. Thank you so much for the support that you have continued to show me.